Hello, here's a video on scripted doors and how you can use them with quests. Uh, I love scripted doors and scripted blocks, and here's a scripted block right here. And actually, this scripted block can give you a quest right there. And I have this quest. I need to get an iron sword. Okay. Whoa, it's loud. I have to get an iron sword out of here. And then I'm done. And once I'm done, I can open this door. I can walk through, close it, and that's fine before I can do that. And if I get close to this door, it opens automatically. And it closes automatically. Okay? So, let's, um, over here, how you can get rid of a quest is you can go to player data and quests, door quest, delete. Okay, so now I don't have the quest, this door is not opening, and I can't open this door either. So, you can also get the quest from this guy. He, I, I you have to make the quest in an NPC and then you can give it to a you can put it in a scripted block there. So how this works is when I complete the quest it shows up as finished in, in this scripted door right here. I have set the block model and then here it is interact. So what I have if event player has finished quest then nothing happens which means the door functions as a regular door. Else, if I don't haven't finished the quest, uh, the event is cancelled. So the event of clicking on it is cancelled. Is what happens. So that's how that works. And this door over here works similar. Um, we'll look at that. And what this does is when I get it, it checks for nearby entities. Um, it checks if there aren't any ent entities around, and if there aren't, it will close the door. Uh, if there are, it will check to see if they're finished the quest, and if they do, then it will open the door, and if they haven't finished the quest, it will close the door. Also in here, I have though, the block model, and also I have this interact set canceled true, which means that, um, well, let's... Uh, get rid of the quest real quick here which means set interact true which means I can't click on it to open it it, it, it uh, immediately cancels the clicking event so that's how that works and I have one more thing here that I thought was interesting is you could I put a pressure plate here and in this block here it removes the quest. It checks for where the pressure plate is and if that's it checks for entities where the pressure plate is and if that's not null then it um, removes the quest right here. I also check if the power level is greater than zero and this is something important with uh, with uh, scripted blocks because they will check they will run the redstone event on power up and power down so it's good to just run something once so it will it, will, it would run when if you look over here the door and the block are running both when it's zero when it when it goes up to 14 power because they're two blocks away and when it comes back to zero. So that means that it would run twice and it's just safe to run it once. It's a good idea to do. So I don't have the quest. Let's just get the quest open and got the qu quest, finish the quest, I'll walk through the door. But as soon as I get that pressure plate, I can't go back again. So there's what you can do with scripted doors. I think I jumped through there. That's what I was. The uh, plate wants to open it. 
so so that's scripted doors and scripted blocks um, a quick example thanks for watching